Say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Verse 7. This is where it is very important. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Rejoice always. I say it again. Rejoice always. As Christians, it doesn't mean that you don't face trials and temptations. You think Enoch was not going through those moments, but he learned how to rejoice in the Lord. Even in those moments. Because I tell you something, if you rejoice in the Lord, it is difficult for the devil to come and sow seeds of discontent. Every time that you are praising God, the devil, when he's coming, of all what I'm doing, this man is still praising God and rejoicing. Now, bebu, bebu. But if you sit down and you are murmuring and you are wailing and crying, oh, I go to church every day, look at what has happened to me. Then the devil gets an opportunity to be coming and then sowing seeds of discontent. But he says what? We should be anxious for nothing. Why is the Bible saying that anxiety causes a lot of problems? When you are anxious, you forget about the power of God in your life. Amen. When something happens, let me give you this example. If those, for those of you who drive, minister can know. If you are driving and then something crosses your way, it will tell you the first thing you should do is to be calm. Because the moment you get anxious, you make mistakes from mistakes to mistakes before you see you are dead. The same way in the, in the Lord, when things come our way, the things that causes us to be panicking, in those moments, when you panic, let your mind go first on God. He says, be anxious for nothing. Because when you are anxious, in today's world, there are so many things that causes us to be anxious. It is normal. But when those things come, when you get anxious, remember that the word of God says, don't be anxious. In everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request be known to the Lord. Listen, it's not every prayer that God will answer and you see miracles flowing. It's not everything that will come your way and you pray to God and God will take it away. Sometimes God will give you a peaceful mind to go through the storm. You cannot prevent the storms from coming. But what the Lord will do when you pray to Him, He will give you a calm heart that even in the midst of the storms, even in the midst of the tribulations, He gives you the peace of mind for you to go through it. The same thing that happened that people panicked and they went to Juju Men and they went to find results somewhere else. That same thing will happen to you. But because you are not anxious, you go to the Lord with supplication. You go to the Lord with thanksgiving. And you pray to Him. The Lord will send an angel. Amen. And that angel will guard you. Amen. You will be suffering, but you will be going through it. And the devil will be wondering, mm. what is it at all about this man? They do not know what your secret weapon is. You are not anxious. But in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, go to the Lord in prayer. The Bible says in the verse 7, And the peace that surpasses all understanding. Do you remember the Bible says, Jesus told the two sons of Zebedee, that my soul is sorrowful even unto death. The Bible says a time came when Jesus was about to be crucified. He couldn't bear the cup anymore. But then he went on the mount of it and prayed. Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass over me. Why did Jesus come onto this earth? He came for a reason, to come and die for us. Now the time is wrong, you said you cannot go through it. But then, in that moment, of course, the Father knew that, no, Jesus, it is not possible for this cup to... But then, the Bible said, then the Lord sent an angel. And the Lord guarded his mind and his heart with peace. In those moments when the devil and the enemy expects us to fall down, when the enemy expects us to give up, that is the time you have to pray. Tonight you may be at that crossroads, but don't give up. Tonight is the time that you go to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, this thing is too hard for me. I cannot do it in my own strength. Please help me. The Lord may not take that problem away, but he will give you something that is more powerful than the storms. 
Because no matter how heavy the storm is, it will not last forever. Have you seen a rain falling in time? It has never uh, ended before. No. Even when God caused rain to fall for 40 days and 40 nights, there was an end to that rain. It tells you that there's a time coming where your problems are coming to an end. But then how do you walk through it and keep yourself at peace? It is through prayer. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are going to pray. When we pray to the Lord, we are going to ask the Lord to guide us. One thing that prayer does is that it gives you a peace of mind in the midst of the storm. Amen. When the problems are coming here and there, sometimes the problems, it comes day after day, day after day. You get out, you want to catch the bus, the bus leaves five minutes before you get there. And you are like, why? You get to the next train station. Before you see somebody blows something on you. You get to your work. Your colleagues start to do things against you. You are on your way to church. Somebody comes to, you know, Kevin, brother Kevin was telling me something. He said, anytime that mama asked me to do something for him, challenges upon challenges. I said, brother Kevin, but do you know something? In all, you still carry out that task. Give the glory to God. Hallelujah. Those moments come. But when you pray to God, he has a weapon. And that weapon the devil cannot handle. Amen. And that weapon that you have is prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So prayer is something that gives us access to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There's another thing that prayer does also. I want us to read First Thessalonians 5. We all know that one.